Recently, we took a Tesla Model 3 out for a test drive to show how autopilot worked. I got criticized for the way that I was using it, pointing out that I didn't know what I was doing, and it's kind of true. I just jumped into the car and tried to use it without reading anything about it. So now we're going to do the whole thing again. Exact same car, exact same route. Let's see how it goes. Here we go. So until you get out on the road, really, you can't turn on autopilot. Once I get going here, now we'll see how it goes. Hit the, now we're uh, in autopilot mode and it went off again by itself. Set it on. Okay, we'll see how it drives. One thing that I did not like about this and, and why it didn't work for me last time is it turns a lot later than I would in terms of getting over a lane or anything like that. And let's see how it goes right now. We're going to try to get on the freeway. There's a bit of a tra uh, traffic around us right now and uh, we'll see what it does. So see, right now I'd have already moved over a lane and I think it's going to miss the turn entirely. I don't know where the thing's taking me right now. My, my lane, my ramp to get on the freeway is over to the right. We've missed it completely where it says now there's a, a warning message coming up saying it's trying to com compute and complete the, the maneuver even though it was on the map. So I would say uh, right now, the autopilot doesn't know where it's at and it doesn't know what to do. Let's see where it takes us though. We're stopped in traffic right now. We'll see if it gets going. And it's picking up automatically, which is better than most adaptive cruise control systems. Once you come to a fleet complete stop after five seconds, you have to hit resume for the car to get going again. But uh, in the Tesla, you don't have to do that but I have no clue where it's taking me now, and I don't think it knows where it's going whatsoever. So it's still trying to navigate it. Let's see where it takes us. The map shows that we're going to turn and try to do uh, a Yui here, go around the block and go back in the other direction. But uh, so far, I am not impressed by this system. It could have easily gotten over and gotten us onto the freeway. Okay, and now where it wants to turn right, there's a road close sign, says no through. I have no idea where the car is taking us right now. It, it really doesn't know what to do. But it's still on autopilot. Okay, uh, let's go back, reboot, and see what happens. Okay, we canceled out of navigation. We came back to the starting spot all over again re-entered the nav info. Let's see what happens this time. Here we go. Okay, I'm out on the road, tap it twice, put it in uh, autopilot, and it's in autopilot right now. Let's see if, and there's no traffic around, none whatsoever. So let's see if this thing knows what to do this time. And again, I'd already be moving over one lane because I'm getting nervous that it's going to miss the exit. It's going to miss it again. So I'm just taking control. I'm going to steer over where we've got to be going. And now let's see if I can, now nah, it will not go into autopilot right now. Try it again. Okay, no. It won't do it because I'm putting in too much steering effort. So we're going to have to get out on the highway. It would not navigate the on-ramp at all. In fact, it was going to drive past it. Let's see what happens when we get on the freeway, if it accelerates enough and uh, isn't a, a hazard to other traffic going by. And it's taken a long time to start to accelerate. Thank God there's no traffic around because it would be merging onto the freeway mighty slow. Okay, I put it back in autopilot. Let's see what happens. And again, it's light traffic. This should be an easy test for the autopilot system. 
and uh, we got to go about a mile or two. We're going to come to another clover leaf ramp to get off the freeway, and we'll see how it handles that. Hopefully, it'll all work. And right now, this is easy. Uh, you know, what I have found in using autopilot is different signals will come up on the big screen. One will tell you, for example, that it's going to move over a lane to get around slower traffic. There's another message that comes on that tells you keep your hands on the wheel. Sometimes a message comes up that says put a little bit of steering effort into the wheel just so it makes sure that you're in control. But you got to be very delicate. If you put in just a little too much steering effort, you'll disable the system. So you got to learn how to do it. But the thing that I don't like is with these messages coming up on the screen, you of course turn to look and read them, meaning your eyes are not on the road. I would much rather have a HUD up display, head up display, a HUD uh, showing those messages. Okay, so right now the, the message has come up. It says it's going to go into a, a faster lane and it's doing it very well. It turns on the turn signal, it gets in there. I like how that all works, but again, very little traffic around for that occurring. You know, it's, it's ironic that we're doing this test right now because Consumer Reports just came out today and said there's some real issues with autopilot. Uh, they're not that keen on it. And I think we're experiencing some of the things that they don't like about it. There, don't get me wrong, there are aspects of autopilot that I like very, very much. And in many respects, Tesla is uh, way ahead of most other automakers. But one of the reasons it's farther ahead than everybody else is it's willing to take risks and put a system out there that other automakers, I think, would believe is not really developed well enough. Okay, now in about another mile, we're going to come up to a, a clover leaf ramp to get off the freeway. We're in a, a fair bit amount of traffic right now, so it's going to be very interesting to see how the, the system deals with all the traffic. And uh, see, if I were driving right now, I'd already have my turn signal on. I'd already be trying to move over one lane to the right. And it's now telling me it's going to do it. And there it goes. It is doing it. So pretty good. You know, it's uh, not as fast to act as I would have been. But uh, maybe I'm a bit more aggressive driver or maybe I'm just preparing for the maneuver uh, a little bit better than they might. By they, I mean the people who programmed the autopilot system. Okay, this clover leaf, we're coming up to it right now. We're encountering a little bit of traffic. It should be able to handle it. Okay, it's uh, got the, it's telling me, see, it told me to put on force on the steering wheel and that disabled the system. Now I've got it back on again, and we'll see how well it handles this this clover leaf. I've got my hands on the wheel, but I'm not putting in steering inputs. It's doing it itself. It's, it's doing it pretty well. Now, it's going 32 miles an hour. Uh, I got to tell you, I take this ramp much faster than that. But uh, what the heck? I mean, this is probably what your driver ed instructor would tell you to do if you were learning how to drive. And that's kind of my analogy right now. This is like a driver ed uh, a, a student driver learning how to drive. Now again, to get on the freeway, it's going mighty slow. There are people literally crawling up our rear end here, uh, which does not make me comfortable. It's, once again, it's misnavigating. We're going, we're, it's gonna take me off the wrong ramp. Okay, I had to take control of the system. It's taking me to the wrong place. So, yeah, the first time we did this video, I did make mistakes with the autopilot system. It's not as intuitive as I would have thought. Certainly not nearly as intuitive as the Super Cruise system that Cadillac has. Uh, as you saw, I had to intervene several times. It got lost a couple of times. So I would rate this as something of a gimmick. I would be a little bit nervous trying to depend on this. I'm not sure it's as safe as it should be. 
Having said that, there are aspects that I like about it, but there you go. We did it all over again and you saw the results.